Hello, kids. Hello, teacher. Good day. In this video, we will be talking about homographs. What are homographs? Homographs are words that are spelled the same but have different meanings and may or may not have the same sound. For example, bat, bat. As you can see, they have the same spelling and sound, but they have different meanings. The first bat means a winged animal that flies at night. The second bat means a piece of wood or metal that is used for hitting the ball in some games like baseball or softball. Right? Sir, yes, sir! Let us have another example. Bow, bow. Again, they have the same spelling, but this time they have different sounds. The first one is read as bow, while the second one is read as bow. And of course, they have different meanings. Bow means a piece of curved wood with a string attached to both its ends, or a weapon for shooting arrows. Bow means to bend one's head or body forward, right? Another example, fly, fly. For this pair, they have the same spelling and sound, but they have different meanings. The first fly is a winged insect, while the second fly means to move through the air using wings. Is it understood? Sir, yes, sir! Now, let us have an activity. <coughs> Your task is to identify the meaning of the underlined homograph in each sentence. Number one, please close the door when you leave. Here are the choices. To shut or opposite of open. And being near. What do you think is the meaning of close in this sentence? It is to shut, the opposite of open. Next number. We spent the afternoon at the football match. The choices are short, thin stick made of wood tipped with a chemical substance that produces fire when rubbed. And a contest or game. In this sentence, match means a contest or a game. Number three, Anne needs to change her eating habits. The choices are to make or become different and money given back when you pay more than the exact price of an item. The answer is to make or become different. Okay, next sentence. You should not ring up anyone in the middle of the night for no reason. What do you think is the meaning of ring in this sentence? Is it a circular piece of jewelry worn on a finger? Or to make a phone call to someone? The answer is to make a phone call to someone. Next number, my brother got a flat tire after driving over a nail. What do you think is the meaning of nail in this sentence? Is it a small thin piece of metal that you hit into something with a hammer? Or a thin hard area that covers the upper side of the end of each finger or toe? It means a small thin piece of metal that you hit into something with a hammer. Next number, there are so many dirty dishes in the sink. These are the choices. To go down below the surface of water and a basin connected with the water supply. In this sentence, sink means a basin connected with a water supply. Now, let us have another sentence. He stretched the rubber band until it snapped. 
What do you think is the meaning of band in this sentence? Is it a group of musicians or a thin flat encircling strip? The answer is a thin flat encircling strip. Next, I am a great fan of original Pinoy music. What is the meaning of fan in this sentence? Is it someone who admires and supports someone or something? Or an object made of folded paper or other material that you wave with your hand in order to move the air around? The answer is someone who admires and supports someone or something. Last sentence. Millions of live animals are shipped around the world every year. These are the choices. Having life or not dead and reside or dwell or to have your home somewhere. The answer is having life. So, how was the activity, kids? Easy for sure. And so, that ends our activity. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.